In this video, we'll see how the tape measure tool works. Click on the tape measure and then click it on two endpoints. It tells you the distance between those endpoints. You can make guidelines. Click it on a line, drag it, and then type the exact distance you want. I'll type 10 feet. Enter. I can click on a guideline and then click it onto existing geometry like this. And that enables me to draw a few windows in that have the same head height as the door without having to measure. Delete the guidelines, add edit, delete guides. You can resize with the tape measure also. If you resize just one piece of geometry, everything on it will resize proportionately. I'm going to click the tape measure at the top and bottom of the wall and I can see it's 14 feet 10 inches. Now if I immediately type a new number I can't click or move the mouse or click on any other tool in between measuring the endpoints and typing but if I type a new number and hit enter the whole model will resize proportionately. If I have other items in the model, for example, I have this, and I don't want this to resize, what I need to do is put the item I do want resized into a group. And then open the group editing box and resize. Now you can see just the house resized and this part didn't. I can also make guide points with the tape measure. For example, if I if I click here and here, there's a point that I can use for later reference. I can also type where I would like that guide point to be. Now notice how when I clicked on a distance, I get a pop-up, in this case 43 feet 11 inches that corresponds to what was in the text field. But if I just put the tape measure anywhere on a face, you can see its square footage also comes up. And I can see where the coordinates are, that is the points relative to the origin, the intersection of the axes. And that is how the tape measure works.